Welcome back to Red Hawk Media. Today we're taking the next step in GarageBand. Uh, we started off with some of the basics in the first two episodes, uh, moving clips in, um, taking clips and uh, modifying them. And now we're going to modify clips a little bit differently. So instead of just dragging them out a little bit longer or shortening them up or cutting them, we're going to actually start adding some effects to these clips. So great example of this in progress here is I took the back alley lead guitar, number two, drag that into a track here. Um, I put on the repeat function so that actually you can hear it over and over. That's what this yellow bar is and this is how you activate that or change that and this is how you can drag that out longer or in this case shorter. So um, what I'm going to do is just give this a quick sample and here's what we've got. And actually you're hearing a few other things in there so this is also how you mute a track. If you're taking a look at this you got the little mute button here. The other way you can do this is if you want to solo a track, you can click the headphones. So I can solo it like this, and now it's only that track. And I put that back, and here's what we've got. All right, you get the idea. Pretty straightforward. Um, there's already some effects that are on there, obviously. Uh, but now what we're going to do is we're going to take this clip, which we've heard a million different places a million different times, uh, because everybody uses this clip, and we're going to make it a little bit unique. So I'm going to go ahead and mute this track. I'm going to go down to this one here. And what I've done is I've added on a distorted guitar effect from the um, library. So if we take a look over at the left side here, you can see that there's a whole library of electric guitar and bass effects. And then I added the distorted guitar one with Maelstrom here. Now, what that's done to this is uh, quite a bit, actually. And um, we can, we've can we got some adjustments that go along with it. Let me play it first. And now you've got that hiss in the background. It's got a little bit more reverb, a little echo. Um, there's a lot of effects that are added in there. Now, if I want to tweak this effect, what I can do is I can actually bring up the effects. And here's the button we're looking at for that right here, all the way up in the upper left-hand corner. And that's going to pop up at the bottom the actual effects for this uh, particular distorted guitar. So now I can go ahead and mess around with the tone, make those changes. Now this is where the repeat function actually gets pretty handy because I can hit play, let it play over and over, and then make my changes on the dials here as it goes. Now here's another way that we can actually affect this. Let's go ahead and mute that track, and I'm going to go down to the bottom one here. And right now, uh, what we've got is we've got the built-in EQ that's set up. Now the EQ, if you click on the dial up here again and bring that up, that shows the EQ. These are the basic settings with nothing on here. And then I can click compare to go back and forth between my settings that I'm going to add on and the original settings. So right now, let's go ahead and take the low, put that up, take the mid, bring that down, take the high, take that up. And then I'm going to take the reverb and add just a lot of reverb here. And now we're going to go ahead and give that a sampling. So there's that one. We go back to the original, solo that. Obviously a big difference between the two. Now if I want to go back, I can compare back and forth between the original settings and the settings that I did. So if I click compare down here, the left hand corner, that'll toggle back and forth between the two. All right, quick way to customize clips, very easy to do, um, and uh, that's what we're going to be working on next in this third episode of uh, GarageBand Basics. Thanks again for joining us for another episode of Red Hawk Media. Bye.